Paul Nathanson with the Policy Resolution Group at Bracewell, bringing you two minutes with one voice, an update from the nation's capital. I'm going to spend my two minutes talking about the current challenge with metal supply and its relation to trade. Today with many metals, I don't have to tell you that there's chaos in the market. Lead times for steel have gone from four to six weeks a few months ago to 12 to 16 weeks. Lead times for aluminum we are hearing from one manufacturer are growing from three months in December to five and a half months now. For red metals, prices are high and lead times are out to three months. The 25% Section 232 steel and aluminum tariffs imposed in 2018 are definitely impacting the steel market, even if you only use domestic steel. The purpose of tariffs is to allow the domestic industry to raise their prices. The U.S. steel industry can only provide two-thirds of the supply needed by U.S. manufacturers. So when you cut off competition and it's a supplier's market, the results are shortages and high steel prices. That's basic economics. U.S. manufacturers are paying one-third more for steel than their global competitors. In essence, the U.S. has become an island of high steel prices. As we often hear from you, while how much we pay for steel is important, it's how much you are paying compared to your global competitors that's even more important. While terminating the Section 232 steel and aluminum tariffs won't solve all the problems in the market, it will help and one of the few levers that the government can pull to alleviate the situation. The Section 232 tariffs can be terminated by a stroke of President Biden's pen. During the campaign, Biden was very cautious in the way that he spoke about trade policy. He criticized Trump's trade policy as ineffective but did not make any commitments to undoing the wide range of tariffs enacted by the Trump administration. The Biden campaign enjoyed strong union support as well. Since taking office, President Biden has hinted that his approach to trade will focus on continuing to confront China but shift away from the unilateral approach from the past to a more multilateral approach. While the end of tariffs is not expected to happen immediately, we do expect that the first tariffs that are likely to be terminated are the Section 232 tariffs on steel and aluminum, at least on certain countries. There is growing pressure by our trading partners to end these tariffs. The European Union last week issued a statement calling for their end. Biden could explain the lifting of the tariffs on our close trading partners by stressing the need to bring these countries into a global alliance to confront China's trade practices. This pressure from our trade allies needs to be augmented by U.S. steel and aluminum users like yourself. Your One Voice team in Washington is actively working to educate the Biden administration through both advocacy and a media campaign on the metal supply situation and the need to end the steel and aluminum tariffs as quickly as possible. That's where you can play a role. We have heard from a lot of members about their company's situation regarding metal prices and supply. Please share your experiences with the One Voice team. We need Washington to hear from the real world. We are confident that through continued ad advocacy, we can end the steel and aluminum tariffs and do so as quickly as possible. Please remember to support your NTMA and PMA who make this content possible and are your voice in Washington.